View modes in Affinity Designer can make it easier to see our work. Today we'll look at this feature and see what it can do. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent and today we're talking about view modes in Affinity Designer. This isn't something that will change your design, but it is something that'll make it easier to view and maybe help you understand a complex file better. Now first I wanna talk about one of the most common questions I get about Affinity Designer, and that is how do you make objects show outside of your canvas? For example, I have these different objects here, they're just images, and I can take one of them and I can drag it off of the canvas here, and you can still see it. So I'll move another object off my canvas here. So this feature is called Clip to Canvas, and I can toggle it on and off with the backslash key. So I'll press the backslash key. So here you can see those objects disappear, and now they show. And I can have an object partially on and partially off. So if I toggle on and off, things off my canvas are hidden, and then they're shown. So to see the menu option for this, you can click View, View Mode, and then Clip to Canvas. So you can click this here, or you can click the backslash key. So I'll press this here, and they disappear. So this is a really cool feature when you wanna put stuff off to the side of your canvas. Maybe later you'll use them or you can put some reference photos here or just some other assets that you might think about using in the future. Now, if your file has artboards defined, it's gonna work a little bit differently. You can see in this document, I have an artboard defined and my images are inside the artboard here. Now the clip to canvas option isn't available when you have artboards defined. So if I go to view mode, you'll see clip to canvas is grayed out. If I click one of my objects and I drag it totally off my artboard, it starts to disappear if it's partially off the artboard, but if I completely drag it out, then it becomes visible again. Now it's important to notice is when you drag something outside of your artboard, over here in your layer stack, you can see it's actually sitting outside of the artboard. So I'll drag this other one outside here, and you can see it's outside. I can create another artboard. I'll click the artboard tool here. Just drag another artboard. I can click my shapes here, and I can start to drag them back in. As it overlaps the other artboard, it'll be part of that other artboard now. I'll let go, and now in my layer stack, if I expand Artboard 2, you can see that image is inside of that there. So just know that if you have artboards in your document, Clip to Canvas is gonna work a little bit differently. So that Clip to Canvas feature was a view mode option we saw under view, view modes here. Let's look at some of the other options. Now one thing you can do is split your canvas to view it in multiple ways. And we can do that with the comma key. So I'll press comma, and now our document is split into a left side and a right side. Now down below here, it says what view mode is used for each side. So on the left is the vector side. That's kind of our normal viewing in Affinity Designer. On the right is pixels. Now, if I zoom in, you'll actually see what pixels mean. And this is what our image will look like if we export it to a raster format like PNG or JPEG. You can see on the right, we have this aliasing effect that shows the pixels. And on the left, we have that infinite resolution we get with vectors. So if I zoom in, the left side is just always gonna be perfectly smooth. So this middle bar here, I can drag it back and forth to see one view mode or the other. Now, if I wanna change one of these sides, I can click on the tag down here. So it says pixels. Let's look at another view mode. So I'll go to view, view mode. Pixels is checked, that's the one we're looking at. We can also look at retina mode, so I'll click that. That's just kind of a higher resolution pixel mode, so I'll zoom in. It's similar to the one we just looked at, but it's a little more higher res. Now, if we continue with our view modes, below pixels retina is vector. Again, that's just our normal vector mode. Under that, we have the wireframe modes. So I'm gonna click X-ray mode here. So I'll click that and now I'll zoom out. And now we can see the kind of power these view modes give us. They give us much better insight into how our document is structured. So this X-ray mode on the right here just displays the outlines of our shapes and it gives a semi-transparent fill. So I can scrub this middle section back and forth and it's almost like I'm seeing through my whole design here. Now let me change the other side. So it's vector, let me click on it. Let me change it to outline mode. So I'll go to view, view mode, wireframe, and I'll select outline mode. So this one is very similar to x-ray mode, except it doesn't have the transparent fills. So if I zoom in, it's just white interiors here. And in these modes, I can do all the normal stuff I can do with vectors. I can click the shape here. I can drag it and resize it using the node tool. I can move points around if I like. I have all that power here. Hairline mode is going to ignore the line weights of our objects. So I'll enable that. I'll enable on the right. So here we have hairline on the right and vector on the left. When I move the scrubber back and forth, you can see what it looks like without any line weights. All the lines are the same width. And this can be good for viewing certain designs where you just wanna see the outlines of the shapes. You don't really care about how thick they are. The hide effects option is going to turn off the effects that we've applied to a layer. So let's turn that on. View, view mode, hide effects. And now you can see that my images that have 3D effects, shadows, and glows, if I drag it to the left, they're all turned off now. 
And this can be a good way to improve performance if the FX are slowing your computer down. Another option we have is grayscale. So let's enable that view, view mode, grayscale. And I can view my image in black and white. Note that grayscale and height effects can be turned on at the same time, and they can be combined with these other modes up here. If you'd like to access these toolbars more easily, you can add them to your toolbar up here. By default, pixel, retina, and wireframe are already up here. But if I go to view, customize toolbar, I can scroll down, and I can add the other view modes up there as well. So maybe I want to add grayscale up there. So I'll click grayscale, I'll drag it up, I'll put it there, I'll close, and I can just click it up here and I can see my image in grayscale. And I can press it again to toggle off. And if I want to get rid of that option, I can go to View, Customize Toolbar again, and I can just drag it off. And then close, and it's gone. And by the way, one other quick tip about viewing your documents. If you press Tab, you can hide these sidebars for easier viewing of your main image here. So this is good when you want to quickly get a bigger view of your document. And you can just press Tab to bring back the interface here. So Tab to hide it, and then Tab to bring it all back. Do you think these view modes will make it easier to do your work? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.